I check my Discord message requests like once a month, since 99% of the messages are just people begging for 1v1s that they won't ever get. I do appreciate the nice ones though. I did my monthly checkup recently and I came across an interesting request. This guy called Fruit asked me if I could train him for his upcoming tournament in the strongest battlegrounds. I think I've made it pretty clear that I don't like hosting tournaments at all, but that doesn't mean I'm against everything that has to do with them. Tournaments are great whenever I'm not the one running them. If I'm a participant in a tournament, that's awesome because I don't have to deal with specific players' tendencies to not follow the rules. So when Fruit asked me to train him for his tournament, I was down, but I needed to ask a few questions first, just to see what I was working with. His region is North America, which is perfect since I'm in the same region and our ping should be similar. Trying to teach someone who has 200 more ping than you is a nightmare. And he's a mobile player. But I believe mobile players have lots of potential. It's not like they're handicapped and need lock on. <clears throat> I can work with these terms. He said he just needs tips, but tips are for losers. He is going to win this tournament no matter what. I'm going to educate him with facts, logic, and pure, unfiltered, unrivaled skill. But it's 11.30 and I'm tired so I'm gonna go to bed, see you tomorrow. I asked him if he was ready for some training and he said yes. I told him I'd DM him in a bit. I decided to be productive in real life instead. Today will be the day. He's ready for training. We didn't train. I approached him again. He couldn't do it at the time I asked, but he could do it later. I was busy, so I told him I'd DM him in a bit. I did not DM him in a bit. Today is the day. For real, for real. Let us begin. We hopped in a private server and I began the assessment. He has over 4,000 kills, which is pretty good because he should know the basics at this point. He decided to use the strongest hero for the tournament, which is perfect. I was kind of afraid he was going to say hero hunter because if he did, I would have left immediately. We started with some 1v1s just so I can gauge his skill and see if he has any obvious problems to be solved. He's not bad, but it's quite obvious what his problem is. This guy must be playing on a hot spot or something because I literally told him to join first so he gets the best ping possible. He can't do a single thing without having a massive lag spike. And I can tell it's holding him back because he's trying to counter my attacks, but he can't because he just spikes. He actually got close in one of the fights because his lag actually confused me for a second. I guess it wasn't helped by the fact that I was averaging 100 ping, which I am very not used to. But this isn't about me, it's about him. We finished the 1v1s, and I just had to ask him if the tournament was going to be in North America or not. If it's in any other region, he's screwed and has no chance. He thinks it's gonna be in NA, but I'm not taking any chances. I asked him if there's any banned characters, because maybe he could just cheese a win with Genos or something. I tell him this, but I take it back since Genos is pretty annoying to use in laggy situations, and him being mobile only makes that harder. The best question to ask him is what he thinks he's the worst at doing in a fight. He said reactions and combos. Luckily, these are very easy problems to fix. I'm gonna start with reaction time and tracking. There's a few good ways to train for this, but the one I think is good for people to try is getting a friend to keep curving front dashes around you at random sides while you try to block them. The point of this is to help you track the opponent better, which gives you more time to think on the spot and realize which side they're gonna go to. We did this for a long time, and he's definitely not the best at it, I'll say that. He is being screwed over by his lag here, big time, so I told him to try to block and turn earlier than usual to compensate for that. This ended up helping him more, but he still got hit by 80% of the dashes due to lag spikes every 5 seconds. One of his problems is that he's trying to find my dash pattern instead of tracking my movement. 
This only works in an actual fight situation and not in this specific training exercise. I told him that my pattern would be completely random. I shut down the server and tried to see if I could lessen his lag spikes by hosting the server myself. This actually worked, but his ping went up a little bit as a result, but that's fine. We continued the dash training. While the leg spikes were mostly gone, he was still having trouble. I came up with a little exercise where I would run around with 10x speed and he would have to follow me with his camera. We did this for 5 minutes. He immediately got better at blocking my dashes. It was a night and day difference. He was blocking them much more frequently and he wasn't trying to guess my pattern. I was changing things up and he was catching on pretty well. I went on with this for a little while longer. Now that his reaction time and camera movement have been greatly improved, it's time to show him some combos. I showed him one of the most commonly used combos for the strongest hero. Two M1s into consecutive punches, into one M1, and then into normal punch. I pointed out to him that you can change it up by doing 1m1 into consecutive punches just in case you get blocked, since 9 times out of 10 the reaction time isn't high enough to m1 trade after 1m1 as opposed to 2. To put it simply, 1m1 is less risk. I also explained that he shouldn't waste his evasive. The whole point of this combo I showed him is to do as much damage as possible before the opponent uses their evasive. If you waste your evasive early, you're just handing them the win. I told him you should only use your evasive when you know you can counter the opponent or when you know their combo is going to get you super low or kill you. Using your evasive after a move like normal punch is stupid because the ending only does 10% damage. You should only evasive out of it if you're red HP because if they catch you near half HP or lower, you're dead regardless. I decided to show him a little tech where you front dash after doing the 3 on one shove tech. Typically you just knock them back and do a tiny bit of extra damage but sometimes it stuns them in place and allows you to continue the combo. It's not that useful, but it's something cool you can do if your uppercut is on cooldown or if you just want to be different from everyone else. I meant to make an exclusive video about this last technique, but I never got around to doing it. I have a special technique that I call the noob fist. When you're fighting a good player, most of the time they're expecting a side dash, a back dash, or anything other than you just going right up to them and hitting them. The noob fist is exactly what the name suggests. You literally just go up to the player and hit them. There's quite literally nothing else to it. I discovered this technique by losing to noobs over and over and realizing what was actually going on instead of getting angry. Of course this won't work against actual noobs since this is what they're used to. But if you apply some mild strafing, the noob fist is super effective against your typical ranked player or moderately skilled player. At this point, I've taught him basically everything he needs to know. Now let's see if he can put these to use. He definitely did a lot better this time, and his lag actually helped him. It's ridiculous what people can do with lag if they abuse it properly. If this guy knew how to abuse his teleportation powers, we'd all be in trouble. The real point to take away from all of this is that you can't get good overnight. You can learn all the techs and combos you want, but you are nothing without actual experience. You get good experience and develop good game sense by playing the game a lot. It's that simple. Our training is over, April 11th. So how did it go? Did he win? He got second place and won 700 Robux. He said the training helped him a lot and he could basically lock on to people now because of how good his tracking got. I had to confirm he was saying what I thought he was saying because it would have been a devastating blow to my dignity if I found out he became one of them. Here's some extra Robux, man. Congratulations.